Hey, it is Bullfrog. I wanted to uh, film a quick little video before the thunderstorms catch me, showing you a good use I have found for the grass in my lawn. Um, the grass I have is a kind that's common to Florida, and I, truth be told, I don't really know if it's common to much of the rest of the U.S. or not. It's called Bahia. Uh, we call it Argentine Bahia, although I suspect the variety we actually have in Florida is probably Pensacola Bahia, which is a derivative of Argentine Bahia. Regardless, many lawns in rural Florida have this kind of grass. Let me show it to you and let me show you some good uses that it has. All right, this is what Bahia looks like. Here is the um, grass leaf. Here is one of the seed heads. And this is a very drought tolerant grass. It grows well in poor sandy soil, which much of Florida has. Um, it's a popular lawn grass, but it's also kind of regarded as a weed, especially in urban areas, mainly because of these seed heads. Uh, what will happen is you can mow your lawn and uh, two weeks will go by and the blades of grass will look okay but the seed heads will um, have been shot up for several days and you know it just makes the lawn look weedy this is about three weeks worth of growth right in here uh, i haven't mowed my lawn in three weeks but yeah i imagine there's some survival uses like you might be able to do something with the grains on the seed head I, I as far as eating it i don't know but let me show you what i'm using it for i don't know if it's picking up on the microphone but we actually have some thunderheads rolling in and that's why i've stopped mowing my lawn at the moment because i want to get some of this bahia hay up what i'm actually doing with it is I am cutting the grass in such a way that I'm throwing the clippings inwards and then I'm pushing them up into these big piles here. I'm going to show you how big the pile is compared to my dog. Uh, it's the piles about knee high and I've got piles like this. You can't see them from here but I've got them all over the yard. Got them on the other side of the house there and uh, I am finding that this stuff makes fantastic bedding for my chickens. Uh, it's good food for my chickens. They like to eat both the seed heads and the blades of grass. Um, it is good compost. I've been throwing piles of this in the run of my chicken coop or chicken run and it has broken down into compost in about a month. So, um, so I, I now put these in all three of my chicken pens and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this up, break this up and get it bagged and get it transported over. There's nothing special about that, so I'm not going to film myself doing that. But once I get it bagged up and get it where I'm going to put it, I'll put it out and you can see what it does, especially good for chicken pen, for helping the chicken pen stay fresh smelling and clean from all the chicken poop in there. This stuff, the, the smell of this fresh grass will kind of, um, uh, kind of hide that smell and then it breaks it down and it becomes good compost so this is good all-purpose stuff I've always treated this stuff as trash just to leave on the lawn or to throw away or whatnot and now I realize no this is just good natural hay I don't use any pesticides or herbicides on my lawn so um, this is great for my animals so I'm gonna, let me get all this bagged up and I'll show you how much mowing um, Oh, about half my yard is given me here. All right, I just want to show you what I ended up with here. I've got uh, eight and a half uh, bags, 55 gallon bags that is, of Bahia clippings from um, about half the yard that I mowed. Probably, if you were to really measure it out, it's probably a little less than half the yard. But, uh, and that wasn't even ever a single bit that I could have raked. I did very little raking. Uh, what I ended up doing was just bagging up the grass that I had pushed up into piles with the mower and uh, I ended up with quite a bit more than what I'm going to need for the next uh, couple weeks or so I imagine. So um, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this and I'll show you what it looks like after I get it in the chicken coops. Alright so I deployed several bags of the Bahia hay to my chicken coop here. You can see most of it's still green. Some of it's cured a little bit sitting in the sun while I was waiting to get bagged and I uh, lined the inside of my coop with it very thickly. That really goes a long way towards helping towards the coop staying fresh smelling. 
and all of this breaks down when i built this coop several months ago see i built it on a hill here because i wanted to utilize this old shed and uh basically the hill goes like that and to even it out i had to run chicken wire underneath here and then use sand and dirt whatever i had to kind of level it out best i could but it still had a real deep depression here in the middle of it like that that was about a foot deep that's all filled in now from where um, several months of dumping grass in here has uh, decayed down and uh, turned it into good rich dirt uh, i dump uh, one to two bags in here every week and what I'll often do is just mow a couple of strips if I'm not planning on mowing the whole yard just enough to get a couple bags of hay and uh, then I dump it in and I free range the chickens now but before I was free ranging them this really went a long way towards keeping them happy in the coop here you see how many I got here I have a 25 head of chicken in here and the coop was really built to hold about 15 or 16 comfortably with plenty of room but uh, but yeah, this, this went a long way towards keeping the coop clean, cutting back on their feed cost. You would think that insects wouldn't get into this stuff knowing that the predators are here, but I guess there's a limit uh, as to a cricket's intellect. Crickets will get all under this. When I come out here at night to shut the coop up and check on the chickens, you'll see crickets hopping all over this. And during the day, they bury down in this, and the chickens love digging them up. And the act of the chickens digging them up actually helps compost this down. So this is a pretty neat system. The Yankees call this the deep letter method. Um, you know, that, that just sounds kind of like a funny made-up term, like permaculture or you know biomass and a lot of the the kind of hipster farming terms that's popular these days which you know the, the sentiment behind those terms is good you know basically sustainable farming that doesn't use chemicals as much as it uses purely natural means that you gather yourself so i like it in principle it just amuses me how uh how buzzwords get thrown around so yeah yankees call this the deep litter method i just call it common sense dump a lot of your yard clippings in here let the chickens break them down and it gives you good compost it keeps your coof fresh it keeps the chickens well fed in fact you see them over here look at them look at that hen eating eating grass right there uh real quick something i've heard people say is that chickens can get impacted eating lawn cuttings like this and that naturally they only bite off little bits of grass in my experience that's not true when i watch them browse in the yard they often tear off blades of grass that are several inches long i've seen them tear off blades of grass that were six inches long and uh, they'll just swallow it right down so i don't think it hurts them i'm sure somewhere in the world there's been a chicken that's been impacted by this but i think it's a it's that's the odd chicken that does so um Anyhow, this has been Bullfrog. I just wanted to show you a good use of your Bahia grass. If you live in Florida or the southeast and you have some in your yard, I'm sure other kinds of grasses would work as well, but I'm not aware of any lawn grass that grows as quick and can be utilized in such a short fashion as this Bahia grass. So anyhow, thank you for watching.